A couple of weeks ago, my channel became two years old. This made me excited because I'm proud of myself for not giving up on the stream, but also regretful and a little bit ashamed that I wasn't farther along. When I finally admitted to myself that I wanted to write and make videos as a career, and actually allowed myself to start creating these things, I was still really scared and embarrassed. The only person in my life that really knew was my boyfriend Bryce. I didn't talk to people or post about my content on social media. I was ready to share my innermost thoughts with the world, but not quite yet with those who knew me personally. I hadn't really started my eating disorder recovery journey, and I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted to talk about. All I knew is that I wanted to create. So I did. I made a lot of bad content and a lot of mistakes. I posted really sporadically and had no clear direction. Then I started down the path of recovery and really started to understand what body positivity is. I also started delving into self-help and motivation. I moved cities and started actually defining the goals I wanted for myself. I physically wrote these goals down. I wrote them down in my blog. I rekindled my love for writing. The direction I wanted to take with my content was becoming clear. Towards the end of 2019, I challenged myself to write for my blog at least once a week. I did Vlogmas. I actually filmed and posted for 25 days straight. I was so proud of that even if the content was more silly and fun. Then 2020 came. It has been a difficult year so far, both in the world and personally. At the beginning of the year, I named my word of the year growth, and I keep telling myself that all of this is just growing pains. My content has been even more sparse than normal and is far off from what I wanted it to be this year. Despite this, I have no plans of abandoning my channel or blog as I've done with previous projects. I have no intention of abandoning this dream. I've spent time away reflecting internally. Who am I? How do I take care of myself? And what do I really want to be creating? I've realized that there's an innate desire in my soul to educate and write that can't be ignored. In the past, I have done a good job of feeding this desire on my blog, but my YouTube channel has been more fun and random. While I enjoy making this content, I realize that I want to be more intentional on this platform. The reason I am here is that I felt there was a lack of truly body positive content on YouTube. I wanted to be a part of bringing those ideas into this space. The reason behind making travel videos or fashion videos was to set an example of how you can participate in those things even in a larger body. That you don't have to change your body to do the things you love or fun and silly things. I still plan on making that type of content as well as any random idea that pops into my head. The difference I'm hoping to make is to just be more intentional with it. I want to never forget the purpose behind my content and I want to be clear about my message. My other hope is that no matter what, I never stop making content. Even if I need to take some time away, even if this doesn't bring me the career I want, though this is still what I'm trying to manifest into the universe. Creating this content brings me so much joy, especially if I know it's helping people. And if all of this goes well, hopefully, I can look back on this video in two years and see just how much I've grown since then. Thank you for watching.